He is the most powerful second-to-generation superhero in the world. Whenever he gets angry, he immediately goes berserk, transforming into a monster. He charges at his superhero father, and no matter how hard his father tries to shake him off, it's impossible. Whenever he feels unhappy, he becomes infinitely large, and no amount of comforting works. He goes straight into demolition mode. At the slightest upset, upon discovering a thief in the house, he takes advantage of his dad's sleep and faces Fu Was, grabbing the raccoon's chicken leg and throwing it into the trash, then using telekinesis to put the lid back on. The raccoon is left bewildered, and as it turns around, it receives a slap in the face, initiating a battle between the two. After just a few rounds, Little Bob kicks the thief away. The thief struggles, only to find Little Bob engulfed in flames. Luckily, the raccoon is agile and manages to escape. Little Bob overturns the barbecue grill, using ash from the wood to extinguish the flames. However, his eyes shoot laser beams, forcing the raccoon to flee for its life throughout the yard. By the time Dad hears the commotion and rushes to the yard, the raccoon is nearly played to exhaustion. Bob quickly picks up his son, but the little one, still full of anger, instantly clones himself and jumps to the ground. The raccoon is terrified and can only run away in panic. It's then that Bob realizes little Bob is the superhero among superheroes. While ordinary superheroes have only one ability, he possesses down scenes. <laughs> He is the baby with the most superpowers in the world. Not only can his body face through walls, his eyes shoot laser beams, and when he's happy, he can't even create several clones of himself. Even his mom can't tell which one is the real him. What's even scarier is that when he gets angry, he turns into a little monster, frightening even his dad. If a small animal encounters him, it's truly in for a tough time. Little Bob follows his big sister, Little Fly, to rescue their superhero parents. Little Jin turns invisible and goes to scout the enemy situation. Suddenly, Little Bob starts crying, and after Little Fly hugs him, he disappears again. <laughs> Little Fly searches everywhere for Little Bob, and when she finds him, he is already infuriated. Seeing this, Little Jin presses the extinguish button, and the flames instantly disappear, with foam still bubbly from his clothes to cool him down. Laughter alerts the superheroes controlled by the ice, and they rush towards the sound. Afraid that little Bob might cause a disturbance, his sister can only give him a tablet to play with. Despite being happy, he still makes noise. They are discovered, and to contain the superheroes, little Bob squeezes both ends of the ventilation duct, and then forcefully presses the middle. Terrified, little Bob gradually starts growing larger, and the ventilation duct expands more and more. We a thud? All the superheroes are seated beneath him. He is the most challenging third child, little Bob I, I, I in the world. When he sneezes, it's like launching missiles. If you don't want the kid to fall, you have to sprint and catch him with all your might. He's mischievous, but you can't make him angry. Otherwise, he'll turn into a little monster and never let go of your arm. He passes through walls and enters the driver's cabin, diving straight into his mom's arms. Seeing his mom wearing strange glasses, he feels angry. So, he knocks the glasses to the ground, instantly waking up Elastigirl from her controlled state. After a fierce battle, he removes the glasses from Bob and Francian. While the trio is still bewildered, a large wave of superheroes arrives. Help us, the Incredibles family has no choice but to fight against the superheroes. After a fierce fight, all the superheroes' glasses are shattered. On the other side, all the guests at the meeting are controlled by the rich sister. Seeing the situation getting worse, the rich sister quickly takes off with Little Fly. Little Fly discovers the truth and insists on jumping off the plane. Back on the cruise ship, he smashes the big screen and successfully saves all the guests. Elastigirl reaches the deck. With the help of Wonder Woman, she smoothly climbs onto the plane. However, she didn't expect that the rich sister would turn the plane into a roller coaster, almost making her faint. As the flight altitude increases, the air in the cabin becomes thinner, and Elastigirl gradually loses consciousness. In the nick of time, she finds a laser gun. The rich sister is hit and flies out of the plane, while Elastigirl quickly puts on an oxygen mask, regains control of the plane, and leaps from the plane. She grabs the rich sister in midair and transforms into a giant parachute. With the help of Wonder Woman, the two land safely. On the other side, the cruise ship has lost control, and it's about to crash into the shore. In the critical moment, Bob jumps into the water and, with all his strength, changes the direction of the entire ship. Just as the cruise ship is about to hit the shore, Frauzium releases a large amount of ice and snow, creating massive resistance that finally stops the cruise ship at the last moment. 